A fire near Bernie forces evacuations and destroys four homes. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on KRCR News Channel 7 at 11 o'clock. I'm Jerry O'Lennon. The power fire, as it was called, started late this afternoon and burned 125 acres. Despite the winds, Cal Fire was able to get a handle on the fire and is 70 percent contained. All evacuations for Ivan Marks Road to Shasta Street and the community of Goose Valley were lifted. Cal Fire tells us at least five structures burned down. It is unconfirmed right now how many homes were burned. KRCR News Channel 7's Tracy Leong spoke to people who were evacuated in the area. I'm thankful that my house is still there. Uh, a lot of our neighbors lost their houses. Mary Marks says she's lucky her home didn't burn down. Got what I could out. When the fire broke out, Marks and her neighbors acted quickly, gathering their animals and personal belongings. We smelled the smoke and we, a couple of us made a mad dash over here and the fire was just on the other side of us. Crews attacked the power fire in the air and on the ground, working hard to control the fast moving blaze. And with all the fires burning in the North State, one of the biggest challenges has been pooling resources. Fatigue becomes a big problem. Uh, when guys start working 14 to 21 days with no breaks, they definitely start getting tired. You know, anytime you can limit the amount, they're driving on the road and driving on the highways, it's the best. So we try and get them home for rest cycles as soon as we can. And for folks who live near the fires, they say it's the price you pay for living in the country. Uh, this is my home. I've lived out here for 40 years and it's my home. Uh, other people have to run from earthquakes or tornadoes. We just have to be on the lookout for forest fires. Tracy Leong, KRCR, News Channel 7.